as how we feel we can express ourselves towards the kingdom of God. It's how we can provoke it. It's worship. We just forget about everything and when we express ourselves to God, we cry, we speak in tongues. Showing Jesus through your actions, through the way you talk in school, through the way you answer your teachers, through the way you answer your friends. chamado como família é ser família de acordo com aquilo que Deus sonhou quando ele projetou o homem. Deus em primeiro lugar, seus filhos aprendem a ter Deus em primeiro lugar. Está doente, está precisando, está, tem alguma necessidade, precisa conversar com os pais. Você, você mostra esse caminho para os seus filhos, eles vão passar para os filhos deles e isso fica por legado de geração. Não foi do dia para a noite que nós fizemos do ambiente da nossa casa um altar de adoração. Foi uma construção, decisões radicais que nós tivemos que nos posicionar. Até que aquele tempo separado para a meditação, ou para construir algo no Espírito com Deus, passou de ser uma obrigação, passou a ser algo prazeroso. E nem sempre eu consigo ouvir o que Deus está pensando. Mas o fato é que, mesmo que eu não entenda, eu venho para esse lugar, ou eu paro, porque eu acredito que essa é a construção, parar e convidar para que ele governe o meu lar. My family, we don't really care about social media, and if we do post something, it's something that will touch other people's hearts, and I find that very unique because we really care about God. We came here, we were living in a farm that had a broken bathroom, so we really had faith in God and trust. We know each other's places, and going through our own experiences is building that relationship between us, a relationship of friendship, and through that, we build upon our relationship with God. We could make the essence of the worship even stronger. By every action that we do, we, we try to focus on Him. Let's say a family member gets sick, we go to my mom's room and we pray about it first. We don't go mourn about it. We mourn about it with God. Or we have a family fight, you know, that's normal. We go downstairs, we worship God, and then we ask forgiveness as decisões que ele, as escolhas que ele fez em relação à faculdade. Eu me lembro quantas vezes eu, eu acordei é, na madrugada ou até durante a tarde, eu simplesmente lavando uma vasilha e tive a experiência de do meu filho mais velho vim aqui para a sala e pegar o violão e começar a cantar para o Senhor e naturalmente expressar o amor dele por Jesus e isso para mim sempre tinha muito meu coração porque ele não estava sendo obrigado a fazer isso ele não está numa igreja cantando para que todo mundo veja ele simplesmente estava ali manifestando o amor dele para o Senhor When I was younger, I did know quite a lot of stuff about God, but like, I didn't really care. Sometimes I'd be like, oh, okay, God, cool. Can I watch my TV now? I, I would think that through my mind, I wouldn't really care about God. But I think being more time with this, with my family, um, really now when we hear about God, I'm like, wow, God is really amazing. And then like, Ten minutes after we finish, then I'll be like, oh, now it's time to watch my TV. <laughs> the hardest part about this lifestyle is focusing on God, even though, you know, I'm, a young, I'm young, I'm a teenager. The things I want to experience, the things I want to do, you know, sometimes they're not even bad things, but, you know, like, no, I, I don't want to go play football with my friends because I need to read the Bible, I need to, need to focus on them. It's not bad stuff sometimes, but 
focus on him is way more important because he has to be number one. O mais difícil de ser exemplo como pai é ser eu mesmo, porque eu me conheço e meus erros são consideráveis. Eu preciso também de alcançar esse, essa estrutura perfeita em Cristo. Então, fazemos isso junto. Ainda que sou pai, eu tenho um lugar de autoridade, mas eu também, como ele, sou necessitado da graça de Deus. Eu quero agradar você, agora você quebrou uma... There is no point um, listening to my parents about God if it isn't my God. That was the lesson that my dad taught me. I was the, the kid's pastor. Um, I ran around the lawn church, never missed a Sunday in my life. I had a lot of fun, loved the Bible, but I didn't have a relationship with God myself. And then throughout the week, I meditated on God and seeked Him, and He spoke to me. Uh, it was in a camp, a Christian camp, but God spoke to me there and I'll be like, I, then I could say, oh, it is my God now. It's not the God of my parents, but it's the God of Gabriel. It's my God. And all the hard stuff he put in place wasn't a burden anymore, but it was a privilege. And I want to have the relationship with him and be holy. I want to have like the connection with God and uh, never doubting God and just having faith. The loving and kindness from my mom, I've taken to my own self, you know. I never, I do get mad at people, but I always try to sort it out. I don't always have to hate my heart. And I think the wisdom and the, you know, seeking God has come from my father, you know. Whenever I have a problem of my own, I go to God first. I think that that's came from my dad has taught me that, because he himself showed whenever, whenever he's sad, he goes to God. Whenever, whenever he mourns, he goes to God. Whenever he's happy and he, he gets a new car, for example, he goes to God first. I think that's came from my dad. É como se o Senhor tivesse nos dando oportunidade de preparar a minha casa para uma grande comissão. É um exército que está sendo formado dentro da minha casa. Um exército de intercessores, de adoradores. Tenho o desejo de estar buscando a Deus em conjunto, em livramento, Pai, para aqueles que estão nem confundidos, Pai. Nós te agradecemos. We try to do the right stuff, but it doesn't always work. But we say sorry, we forgive, and we praise the Lord a lot. We're different. We're not trying to be like the world. We're not trying to play by their agenda, but by God's agenda. At the end of the day, my family always tries to see God's face. We always try to please God, even though we have sins, we're humans. We acknowledge what we've done wrong, and we always go to God. There are a lot of stuff the world has to offer and it's so easy, so easy to sin these days, so easy to walk astray from God. But my family, including my brother and my sister, has always helped me being on track and has shaped me, you know, I'm a, I'm a goofy person because of them. I can, I can turn sad things into, you know, uh, okay, yeah, happy things and I think this is all because I am part of this family. I am me because this, this is my parents, these are my siblings. A princípio eu pensei que era só eu, mas depois envolveu toda a minha casa e eu abracei isso. Ainda vale a pena, mas o fruto ainda do gozo disso tudo ainda está por vir. Como se diz, né? O melhor de Deus ainda está por vir. É de onde eu vim, é pra onde eu vou.